right let me see legacy software so legacy software is the last subheading under the nature of software so legacy software the meaning of itself legacy means the existing one the older one is called as legacy so legacy software is the older programs developed decades ago now the what is the problem of legacy software is it is a the quality is very poor because why the quality is very poor means because of lot of reasons lot of reasons there is a quality is very poor in the legacy software the reasons are the first reason is inextensible design the second one convoluted code the third one because of poor and non existing the documentation the fourth one is the second that this is the third reason and the fourth one because of not performing different test cases how it will become and what's the different for the different test cases what the results are there for that and because of that this four reasons this legacy software the quality of this one is very poor coming to the first reason that is inextensible design inextensible design in, in the sense any software when you are developing for example when samsung has released different versions like we have the uh, j1 j2 j3 samsung j1 j2 the j1 or j2 or j3 so jt j2 has come into market the samsung galaxy j2 has come into market based on the design of j1 if they stop in extensible the design of j1 automatically not be extended to j2 if they stop at the j2 they can't extend to j3 if they stop at the j3 they can't extend the next versions so that's the major where when you are designing any software it should be extendable for the next level the feature scope should be there in the design if you are restricted for that one it's a it not be reuse that the same design or we can't extend that one so that's a called as inextensible design that is a reason the second convoluted code convoluted code means whatever however you are come in come into mind even in your own style you are not following any sort of standards how to write the code as yesterday i discussed with you that whenever you develop any software or any code for any module they given for a, uh, some sort of proprietary tools based on that only your jobs will be set time or will be continued right so it depends on that the code should be optimized way in optimized way very clearly you have to mention why you are using this type of variables or functions or any objects when you are creating that convoluted code should be very clear so because of that not having a proper way of writing the code however in your minds jaise aap chahiye jaise just you are going to be written that code it's not at all is not usable again if anybody open that code again if you see that one not understandable by the next person because the same persons are not working in the same company for a long period you are going to be jumping from one company to another company in place of you another persons are coming over there in that company at that time when they open your uh, project the, that one to study or any issues or come from the customer end and open that one if the person who are newly coming over there the developer not understand your code then because of that also the quality of, of the legacy software is poor the third reason is poor and non extensive the existent documentation as i said you that for every three lines of code if you place a comment then to see that for anybody after you leave from the company if anybody see from that one is the see the documentation why the uh, exist uh, the ex developer has written this three lines of code has written for this four lines of code if you make a comment over there if you provide the documentation proper documentation easily they can understand oh this for this purpose this code is linking to that another module another module to is connecting to here this is for the transaction purpose this is for calculating purpose this is for so on so purpose if you mention clearly if you provide the documentation clearly then it's very easy for any type of the new developers who are coming in place of you is easy because of not having the uh, lack of documentation there the quality is poor the last reason is test cases and result because only you tested as i said yesterday if you are giving for addition of two numbers 2 3 it gives five means when any unknown person a name and gives that addition of two numbers means a input first input as a second input as 3 A plus three means it gives what? What the results it gives? Whether A is converting it as ASCII of ninety-seven plus three has a hundred, 
or a is taken as a zero because it is a string it is taken as zero plus three equal to three how it will become like this for negative numbers for floating point numbers for different types of test cases if you observe that software in all perspectives of different users different customers point of view different developer point of view different business perspective point of view all if you give different different inputs and different different outputs then definitely it will be useful for that software because of lacking of the different test cases this legacy software quality is poor so these are the four different reasons where this legacy software fail and as the time passes legacy software evolves the following reasons it is evolving it is as time goes on it is evolving like this software legacy software can be adaptable now as i said you for any mnc companies there is a library like in our college we have a library right in mnc companies also there is a library where they are maintaining all srs software requirements specifications for a particular product all the documentations will be maintained in the library so whenever any newcomer comes over there in the company so if you want know that any issues in the existing software they go to the library they open that documentations of the software they have for every documentation there is a numbers based on the numbering reference numbers they open the documentation they study the software and they will know start resolving the issues because most of the companies are in the maintenance they are giving maintenance uh, services as well maintenance means once you are giving the software to the customer after that there is a lot of issues will come like if you are seeing your washing machine your fridge or if your ac they are giving for 5 years of warranty 3 years of warranty so to whom you are calling you are not calling to your colony person who is a ac repair person over there you directly call to the respective ac whichever you have purchased like if you have purchased uh, lg ac samsung ac or whichever the company ac is your you are going to be calling to that person and they are called for a service agree now the most they are going to adopt to meet the needs of new computing environments or technology this is the one evolving feature in the legacy second software is it is going to be enhanced enhanced means we can extend up to some level the third like as i said extended to make the interoperability so interoperability we can do some lot of things we can enhance internally with respect to the modern system old system to modern system like we can update the old code to the new programming uh, language code and we can also use different databases over there and we can also rearchitect the existing design to our as per our requirement so these are the four different evolving things in a legacy system so as the time passes this legacy system evolves the adaptability enhance and extendable and also the rearchitecting the software okay so these are the things they are going to be doing